Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we pretty much finished up in Wutai, except for a few things. One of those things is that I just plain forgot to pick something up. Remember the cat house? Well, now that we've finished the side quest, up uh, that is Wutai, a cat moved, which allows us to climb up here. And we want to climb up here because there's an HP absorb material. Wait, I thought it was MP absorb. Do I already have that one? Wait a second. Let me just, uh... Okay, I had MP absorb. In any case, it was one of those, which is a fairly rare material. So, you kind of want it. Also really useful, even though I'm not equipped in here right now. Other than that, there's also a couple of enemies in the Wutai area on the world map that we want to fight. Because enemy skills. Now, I think one of them I should be able to encounter just running on the beach. Uh, this looks promising. Oh yeah, that's that's the one. This stupid ass turtle has Oh hey! I totally forgot about the spangles! Uh But no, I'm actually here for its enemy skill. Which let's see. Sure, why not? You can also steal those that armor from it, which is actually really good armor for physical stuff. As I recall, it's really bad on the magic defense. Although I may be getting that backwards, actually. I don't really remember too well. It definitely has armor that is really good for either magic or attack. Rather, magic defense or regular defense. But I don't remember which one. Hmm. Also, I swapped uh, Tifa with Aerith because we're going to need Aerith coming up pretty soon and I want her at a certain point when I get there and I'm not at that point yet. Okay, so did I put sense on Aerith? I mean, I put so many... I just gave her Tifa's loadout, <laughs> pretty much. But then again, I did all these loadouts off-screen anyway, so that is a fairly uh, meaningless distinction. Mm. I'm not sure if I need to do something to actually get the ability I want from the turtle here. I don't think so. But I'm not 100%. I mean, I do, I do check for that sort of thing, typically. Oh, well, I manipulated it. So, I guess we'll find out. This one. Use it on Cloud. I don't even know what this freaking does, actually. Uh, okay, that did not appear to do anything. But, we're going to learn it on Aerith as well, I think. Okay, we got it. Now let's kill the turtle. Oh, okay, it was nearly dead. <laughs> okay, that's one thing down. Uh, the next thing is also in this area, but I don't think it's on the beach. I'm pretty sure I can encounter it if I walk over here a bit. Pretty sure. I mean, actually no. I want this one a lot more than Death Force. I don't even. I really don't know what Death Force does, but I know what the other one does, and I want it. Okay, you are not what I'm after. Incidentally, Death Force makes ally immune to death. Okay, that's really bad, and I definitely needed Manipulate to get to this. So I'm glad I did that. 
Uh, let's do that. And let's kill these! Because they are not the ones that I am interested in. Not at all. Uh... Okay, yeah, that's a critical hit. Okay, so hopefully I'll get in the next battle, but if not, I might just cut to it, because we have a lot of stuff to do in this episode, so I can't just spend the whole episode hunting down two monsters. Well, I mean, I got one of them right away. I guess really just one monster. Hmm. So, yeah. Come on! Oh, I think those are actually what I want. Yep, yep, those are what I'm after. Oh, I forgot I gave Sid counter attack. He does so much damage! Man, his spear is awesome. Uh, I don't really need to use, use Climb Hazard. But I... You know, well... We'll try that. No, don't critical hit it! Damn it. Uh, now there's only one of them. Nothing to steal either. I mean, I can't... This isn't gonna work probably because it's at full life. I mean, I guess it has a small chance of, of success, but it, it's pretty small. I mean, I may- oh! It actually worked! Okay, that'll speed this up a lot. We must gain the power of Magic Hammer! Which... hits for 100 MP. It is actually super useful against bosses. Because many enemies in this game if they run out of MP, they will die. Don't don't ask me why. Because it doesn't really make sense to me. But well that that's how it works. And Magic Hammer is a really good way to take advantage of that. Now then, I am going to meet you back at the little Bronco. Because like I said, we have a lot of stuff to cover. So, I'll see you in a minute. And we're back. Uh, before I get in the plane, I just realized I didn't show off that armor that I stole. Ta-da! Super high defense, super weak magic defense. Which is really good if you're playing the PS1 version, because magic defense and armor doesn't really work. But it's not so great on this version, especially when I am accustomed to having four-ish material slots, which is why I didn't steal a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah, pre pretty much. Okay, so, we've reached the plane. Now I need to actually get to where I want to go. Um, easier said than, hey, it's Cosmo Canyon. Easier said than done. Uh, there's a few places I want to go, and I don't remember how to get to basically anywhere in the plane. There's Nibelheim. I guess I could take the... I could probably take the buggy to where I want to go. Uh, oh, actually, as long as I'm here, there should be somewhere around this area, which is on the list. I think it's a little bit further over, though. Like, around... Okay, that appears to be Rocket Town. Okay, I I've taken a wrong turn. Shoot! I knew this would happen. Ah, it's so easy to get lost with this stupid plane! If only it actually worked. Like, if it flew or something, that would make this a lot more convenient. Uh... Okay, that's Nibelheim. That's where Nibelheim comes out. 
So it's is it on the other side of Cosmo Canyon? It might be. I mean, clearly I don't really remember very. Oh no, I need to. Okay, so I can get over there, but then I'll hit a dead end, so that's not gonna work. I think I can go through the river here to get to the other side, but I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on that. I can Okay, and there's the place I wanted to go actually. Since I knew I'd go right past it. Oh, another customer. You sure picked an out-of-the-way place, but... But if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late! I don't have it! What keystone? The gate to a very old te Uh... What? So... We seem to have just stumbled upon that, but actually, I have something else I want to do with you. Let's talk about something else. Cool. So you're like a weapons maker. I would indeed happen to have some mithril on me. Okay. So, uh, uh, he said big box or small box. He just walked right through me. Ah! I guess he hasn't placed them? Or... Like, what? Oh! This one. I guess? No. Oh, we got it! We got the Great Gospel. Don't take the big box, it's just a gold armlet. Uh... Yeah! We can buy those in Rocket Town. They aren't that good. In fact, they're obsolete. After Wu Tai. <laughs> At least I think they're obsolete. Actually, no, I'm wearing them right now. So, not totally obsolete. But the thing we just got is super important. Lure and Limit Skill. Great gospel. Don't really care. Not me. Give it to someone else. Not quite ready yet. It is Aerith's. Start by type and battle. In any case, we're we're that's what you do with the with the mithril. So now you know. Apparently, it's not strictly necessary, but it's certainly something you want. Anyway, anyway. Um, did he actually tell us? Wait, no, go back there. I don't think he actually told us who he sold the keystone to. We should. I mean. We should probably find out. I s uh... Okay. Who indeed? The manager of the Gold Saucer. I think his name was Dio. He said he was gonna put it in his museum. Okay, so yeah. The owner of the Gold Saucer... Or manager, I suppose. Maybe he's not the owner bought the keystone. So, we could go to the gold saucer right now and do that, but we're not going to. We have other stuff to do. More important stuff. Stuff- oh, hey. That's sort of like an Inca look at- wait, is it Inca? Central American-ish looking- Inca isn't even South Central, it's South America. Uh, you know what? Whatever. It's a- it's an ancient looking temple. Gee, I wonder. There. Um, This is the next stop, I think? No, I can go a little bit closer. I'm gonna need to wrap around here eventually. Speaking of things that are annoying to navigate, this right here. No, the, our next stop is, of course, Fort Condor. Okay, so this time I should actually be able to steal four reels from the boss that I'm gonna fight because I'm still not gonna play the dead mini game. I'm pretty sure last time it didn't work because because I skipped a few, 
And the fort conjure is kind of weird. Some of the times when you skip a skip something, it won't count. Sometimes it will count. And sometimes, independent of the of the first two things, it will um it'll move you forward, but not always. Like last time, I skipped two or three. Uh, like last time I, I was here, I had it was the first time I was here after skipping two or three battles, but it only counted as missing one. And it probably only counted as one for the actual count that changes the dude. Because it's only on the third appearance, he is different, and his third appearance is somewhat context sensitive based on how many times you've actually fight him. Uh, yeah. It... Four Condor is weird, okay? Yeah, I'm sure they have. Okay, well, you can have 3,000 more. And then I'll fight those troops. More than 20. Or... I could just set no units whatsoever and let them attack me. Ha ha! Because I don't care about the prize. I think... Okay, I'm at the point where I don't even know what the damn prizes are for sure anymore. Like I said in the beginning, the only prize I really cared about was the, uh... What's it called? The very first one, which I screwed up on anyway. It was a magic comb, which was a double AP weep on for red. Uh, but I missed it. Oh well. No. All the other ones are consumables at this point. Uh, except for one. There's one other one that is a kind of shitty weapon for Yuffie. But I don't care about that one either. First of all, because it's not a good weapon. But also because, um, well, it would... In order to get it, I would have to not skip some of the battles that I'm going to skip. And, ha and in fact, have already skipped. Uh, which is kind of really shitty, because basically you get it to get the Super Ball, which is the Yuffie's weapon. You need to do the most backtracky, tra um, you need to do the two or three battles that require the most backtracking in Fort Condor. And those are sort of by definition the ones that I don't want to do whatsoever. Because they're terrible. Okay, he seems to be a different color now, so that's promising. You know, just hit him with your spear, it seems pretty effective. Nothing to steal. Uh, apparently I'm just a huge liar about the stealing thing. Uh... Right, I'm gonna use Trine on you. Eat electric death! Yeah, okay, that was pretty effective death. Electric or otherwise. Let's use Aqualung. And he's dead. He was, must be weak as water, because that dealt a shit ton of damage. Hmm. XP-wise, that's probably not worthwhile. Like, I mean... If I was willing to sit through the time to do it, you it probably is worthwhile to, to actually just fight the encounters. But man, that co not only would that cost me, like, upwards of 20 minutes to do a single battle, but it would also cost me money. I don't have enough money, <laughs> as it is. I mean, I say that. This is probably the first time in the game I have a decent-sized uh, wallet. But, but like, one new weapon store and that's all gone. As it is, like... Okay, here's the thing. When we get to, like, the side quest zone... We are going to need an exorbitant am amount of funds. 
Uh, and were I doing the... I would be able to get around it and not have to worry about it if I was playing the PlayStation 1 version because I could use an exploit to basically duplicate, well, literally to duplicate my items and, ha and turn that into infinite money. Or just duplicate the items I need because I, the items I need for that part are in fact consumables. Really, really expensive consumables. So, we're back here for It Is Time! Uh, wait. No, you are not on the list of things that I need to do. We're gonna go ahead and just summon Chocobo Mog. Because there are enemies in this area that are on the list of things that I need to... I still need to get level 4 suicide, okay? Just, that's all there is to it. But I all what I also need to do is fight the snake here. Oh, it's time! Hello, Midgar Zolum. We meet again. Have you? Tell me, sir. Are you familiar with the power of Agualong? Actually, I can't kill it too fast. I needed to actually freaking use... I mean, it just respawns if I kill it, so it's not that big a deal if I do kill it too fast, but even so, I needed to actually use Beta. Please, please, no. Uh, damn it! Ah! Now I'm gonna need to do this twice. Ugh. Oh hey, I can use my limit break though. Oh, okay. Well, that's one better down. We got nuked. But okay, that still killed me. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, that dealt more damage than I was expecting. I'll admit. I think now's probably a good place to stop. <laughs> I only survived that because he knocked Cloud out of the battle. <laughs> Although Cloud is immune to fire damage, so he would have been fine. Uh, any case, in any case, join me next time when we collect Beta and other enemy skills. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!